How's it going everyone? Here to talk all about Grand Blue Fantasy Relink and some of the stats regarding the game upcoming content. The game is doing very, very well. I think Psy Games, at least I would hope, Psy Games is going to be very happy with how this game is performing. I already saw that social media metrics of the game were doing fairly strong heading into its release and I thought the game was going to do fairly good. It was ultimately going to come down to how would the reception be? Really, outside of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, this is the first foray for Grand Blue as a major JRPG here stateside and it seems like the reception has been rather strong and forgive me guys I am not as far along as a lot of you guys are with this game I'm trying to juggle like a dragon infinite wealth persona 3 reload and grand blue fantasy right now so Splitting my time across those three games has just become a little bit of a challenge, so my forgiveness as far as that's concerned, but I will certainly make my way through all three of those games, and that's one of my main goals of 2024 as a whole, is to really complete every single major game release this year, and we'll see how far I get, but uh, I'm a try, but Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is one of those games that I've been looking forward to for years and years. What I have played of it thus far, I have really enjoyed. I think the action gameplay has been awesome. I think the presentation is super slick. I'm not going to say it's like a technical masterclass in terms of visuals, but I think the art style is great. I think a lot of the effects look great. The boss battles have been awesome. Oh, and the soundtrack is fantastic as well. That soundtrack, an absolute banger. And the characters, I think, have quite a lot of depth to them in terms of design choices and things of that nature. I'm just really enjoying my time with the game, and I think they have the foundational elements for something that they can build upon for several years, as long as the game is received well from a commercial and critical standpoint. And so far, we don't have a lot of numbers that we can really assess. However, what I can look at is the Steam concurrent player count and the all-time peak thus far. Bear in mind that the game has been out since February 1st, and this is certainly a game that's more tailored towards PlayStation audiences. I mean, the game had an earlier release on PlayStation as well, but on Steam, it peaked at 103,000 concurrent players. Now, that number, to some of you guys that have been following, like, the PAL World numbers, PAL World hit over 2 million concurrent players, and that might make you look at that 103,000 number and scoff a little bit, but no. And that 103,000 number is a very, very respectable number. Any game that cracks over 100,000 concurrent players, that's a super good number. And to give you guys, like, some comparison points, Persona 3 Reload, and yes, I do know the game is available on Game Pass, but a lot of people play it through Steam as well. That game peaked at 43,000 concurrent players, which, you know, even that number, that was the biggest Atlas release on Steam ever. So that's not like that's a bad number. I get it that that number is going to be a little bit misleading with the game being on Game Pass as well, a Game Pass PC on top of that, but uh, let's look at Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, a game in a long-running franchise. Game has been received super well. I'm loving the game personally, and that peaked at 46,000 players as well. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is at over 100,000 players. I would have to say for a game and a franchise that's seeing its first foray in terms of a big JRPG over here stateside, that is a really, really good number and something that you can certainly build off of, and I think they gotta be pretty damn happy with it. Is there room for improvements? Yeah, Absolutely, the PC version can be refined a little bit. And maybe some people will say the main story should be longer. We did a whole video talking about that. The main story to some people is like a literal tutorial for what you ultimately get in the entirety of the game. There's a lot of content to this game. It's just that a lot of that content is in the form of the post-game content. So just keep that in mind. But it seems like they have a winner on their hands in terms of something that they can build off of over here stateside as well with Grand Blue as an IP. Obviously, this game took a lengthy, lengthy development period, like eight years. Hopefully, you know, we're not going to have to wait that long for new content. Content. First of all, and I'll go over the new content. New content is going to be coming to this game very, very shortly. And then if they ultimately want to do a sequel or another title or continue building on the franchise, now they have the foundational elements in place. The gameplay is great. You can just continue to fine tune that and build upon that. And uh, it shouldn't be as long of an undertaking to ultimately release a sequel if they do want to do that. Or let's say, you know, they want to do like a refined version like they did with Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. There's a lot of things that you can do. And in, in terms of upcoming content, yeah, we already know that there's going to be sizable content coming to the game. First of all, you have the Lucialist boss fight and extra difficult post-game quests. This is going to be a very difficult quest that'll be arriving in March of this year. And that is going to be a new quest that you'll be able to take on. It's a simulation of the final battle against them, recreated for Relink's action RPG gameplay. Going to be one of the more difficult battles you're going to encounter in the entirety 
of the game. On top of that, there will be new characters included. Two new playable characters will be coming in the form of an April 2024 update, and an unknown update will be coming in May as well. The new quest is early March. That's version 1.10. The two new characters is the update in April. That's uh, version 1.20. And then the third update they haven't detailed yet, but it's scheduled for May of this year. So they're going to have sizable monthly updates. I wouldn't expect sizable monthly updates for the entirety of the year or going into 2025. But what I would expect is that this game is going to get consistent updates and potentially a marriage of both free and paid updates will be coming to the game. But based on the amount of content in the game already with the post-game content, there's a healthy level of content in there and they're already going to offer you a lot of free content as well. And hopefully that'll be be a reason to continue coming back to the game. I'm just really happy to see we have yet another Japanese RPG franchise that's in the mix. It's going to be one that I think people are going to pay attention to. And this is just the first game in what hopes to be a lengthy series, a lengthy endeavor for Psy Games as a whole over here in the West as well. I think there's a lot of ways you can build upon this, and it just looks like Grand Blue is going to be here to stay, which we got enough room for a lot of JRPG franchises to coexist. Sure, would I love a another release structure like we had in the past couple of weeks, like a Dragon, Grand Blue, and Persona 3 Reload in the span of a couple of weeks. No, let, let's try to space these games out a little bit, but let's be honest here. As far as problems we can have in the gaming industry, having too many games is one of the better problems I can ask for. And yes, I'm trying to juggle all three games, but most people are going to pick and choose what they want. Very few people are going to try to juggle all three of those aforementioned games. I'm in a unique position where we do videos on YouTube and I should be up to date with everything coming out. So, very grateful for that, but that's not a position most people are in. You're picking and choosing. I see a lot of people with infinite wealth. I see a lot of people with grand blue, given that uh, this is a game that we covered a lot on this channel. A little bit of selection bias there, but nonetheless, based on the metrics we have thus far, over 100,000 concurrent players on Steam, that's a super healthy number, and it looks like that this is going to be a JRPG franchise that's going to do very well. Bear in mind that, you know, a franchise like Grand Blue a decade ago, I would have never thought we would get a game like this over here stateside, but not only do we have it stateside, we have it doing very healthy numbers. It seems like people are enjoying a co-op aspect. Is there room for improvement? Yeah, sure. But that's a good thing in totality. And what you're seeing right now is this is a game that's resonating with people and people are enjoying, it. especially given that this game has not had that crazy of a marketing push on PC either. It kind of just came out a little bit quiet. Pre-orders weren't even open. Still a cracked uh, 100,000 concurrent players, a very, very healthy number. And hopefully that bodes well for Grand Blue going into the future with updates, whether that be all free updates or paid updates. There's a lot of potential for the game as a whole and the franchise as a whole over here in the states but that's gonna do it for me definitely sound off with your thoughts in the comment section down below more of a positive video we talked about game length where you know some of you guys i feel like took that video the wrong way it was more of a discussion it wasn't me coming at the game's length i actually really like the game that it gets in tells its story and then it offers a lot more content but not to go down that uh diatribe again but really happy to see how the reception has been uh overall and it seems like most people are really enjoying their time and again hopefully this is another japanese rpg franchise for us to really sink our teeth into what a time to be a JRPG fan in the year of 2024. Grand Blue's crushing it. Persona 3's crushing it. Like a Dragon is awesome, even though the new game plus stuff is nonsense. And we got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at the end of this month, guys. A great time to be a fan of JRPGs. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.